We met another couch surfer named Albert and went and stayed with him. He's another motorcyclist and he recently rode to Ushuaia and he's planning a trip to Alaska soon. So we traded a lot of notes and tips on places to go and see. Yeah, Albert was really, really cool and he took us to Guatape to see El Peñol. The Colombians basically say like, oh, look at this giant meteor that flew through space and landed in this beautiful area. But the scientists say it's a rock. But it is weird. It's large. It's giant. And they, uh, they built a staircase into the side of it that has 750 stairs. We climbed them all. Some years ago, an artist tried to write Guatape on the side of it, but he fell to his death, and to this day, it still just has a G and part of a U. The town of Guatape is pretty incredible. The whole town got together and decided to give it a makeover, and everyone painted their houses with a lot of different colors and whatever plants or animals or symbols they thought Dragons. represented them. Yeah, horses. So it's really a beautiful little town to walk around in and really colorful and pretty. We met up with a really cool ADV rider named Ken. He took us out to have some delicious sushi in Parque Yeras. Yeah, Ken's really cool. He's planning a trip through the Americas on his Harley that he's transforming into an enduro bike. It was really interesting conversing with Ken because he's deaf and we spent the evening writing down all of our thoughts. Yeah, it was really interesting because Andrew and I have been talking a lot about language and working on our Spanish and just like having a lot of existential conversations about language and communication. It's he also brought some incredible apple pie moonshine with him that he was kind enough to share with us. Delicious. Dude knows how to make moonshine. We spent a lot of time walking around Medellin and that meant we ate a lot of street food. Mm. And we were also lucky enough to catch a little bit of the tango festival. <laughs> Colombia is insane about the World Cup. Everyone is wearing yellow shirts, like just everywhere. People on bikes, both people have a yellow shirt on. Dogs. Dogs have yellow shirts on. The, the president. Even the president. Who won the election because everyone was really distracted by soccer. Yeah, apparently the shitty candidate won, but no one really cared because he was wearing a yellow shirt. But they all say that Colombia is gonna be like Venezuela by next year because he's gonna trash the economy, so let's find out. But don't pay that any mind. Just watch the game. It'll be fine. Watch soccer. <laughs> Also, fuck Bubuzelas. They have a bunch of giant TVs up all over Medellin for everyone to come watch the games. When the games are on, everyone stops working, shuts down, goes out to watch the games. It's a serious affair. After a long time hanging out in Medellin, we decided to head off to explore more of Colombia and invited Matias to join us. He made a delicious going away lunch for us and Albert. Oh, and also important to mention, he got a really amazing dinosaur helmet. Here are our bikes, they're all ready to go, piled up with tons of shit. Matias' giant backpack. And what's going on, Andrea? Becky's bike won't start! Because it's a piece of garbage! What's no, I love Becky's bike. What's wrong? Uh, there's a part in here that we need to get to. We need to clean the pilot jet, because we probably got bad gas, and Becky's unlucky. And all of this shit needs to come off so we can take the seat off, so we can take the gas tank off, so then we can take the carburetor out and get to this one tiny part so we can fix it. Just go see Pablo Escobar's home. <laughs> Let it leave, it's tough on that, I touch it, breathe, breathe.